to make a really quick um, pattern using any image on Photo P. Um, so I've just opened this image here, which is a Botticelli painting from the Renaissance. Um, I'm going to pick a small section from the painting and I'm going to make it into a repeat pattern. So what I'm going to do is first, um, I will just select the area that I want to make into a pattern. Um, so I'm going to maybe pick this girl's head here. Um, so I'm using my select um, button, rectangular select, and um, I'm going to put my finger down on the on the shift key so that um, when I draw this box that it's a perfect square. Um, you don't have to make it a perfect square, but I'm just going to do that. Um, so there I have my selection. I say image crop. And then what I do next is I go edit and um, define new pattern. Um, so that's added a pattern to your to your library. So then I'll go open a new file. And I think I'll go for A4. Um, and then I go layer, new fill layer and pattern fill. So I'm going to fill the page with a pattern. And you can see that a pattern has come up um, as a new layer on my page. But um, Photo P have some generic patterns here. That one is not very interesting. It's not what we're hoping to use. And inside here, um, the, your selection that you added as a pattern is going to be inside. Here we have the pattern. Look how quick that was. You've got a whole, um, you've got a whole pattern filling up your whole page. If you were to try and do that manually by copying and pasting, it would have taken you ages. Um, then you can do um, play with the scale here as well. So you can make that pattern um, much bigger and you can bring the scale down really, really small. And uh, that's too small obviously for this image so we'll leave it somewhere around up here. And lastly, what you can do is um, move, the, move the pattern to the left and to the right and you can move it up and down. So that is a super quick way of making a pattern on Photo P. Then lastly, um, if you want to save this, again, just a reminder, file. Uh, you can save it as a Photoshop file, a PSD file, if you'd like to keep working on this another day. So you can close this and then you can open this file again and you'll have your layers um, that you can edit. Or you can say, if you just want to save it as an image that you can share very easily, just say export as JPEG. And that should save it down to your computer. It'll ask you, um, do you want to save it as a large file? Say yes. Press save. And it's, it's saving now to your computer.